Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Presenting Bumblebee, the ever so trusty Bell 47 helicopter. I've been enjoying the Neofly missions recently. Uh, as you guys might know, I am a huge fan of the other uh, economy apps out there, but I've never really tried Neofly. A lot of you have been recommending that to me. And uh, now I've gotten to try it. It's perfect. I discovered it's perfect really, especially for helicopters. So this is how it looks like. This is the window. Um, it takes a bit of getting used to with the interface. It's not the most intuitive, but uh, yeah, with the amount of missions, the variety of missions you can see in this drop down. That's all the types of missions you have and I'll go through some of them here. But what I like in particular is with helicopters, especially with this Bell 47, it's super slow. 70 knots uh, cruising speed you really cannot afford to have a long haul right so it has to be a very short trip otherwise your hands will hurt and so in this one we have actually a perfect category here bush trips 0 to 50 in terms of distance and if you can even like classify it sort by distance here so for me personally i don't like those long flights i like it short and sweet so that's going to be perfect here. So we have a couple of very familiar ones like mail deliveries. Uh, that would be airport to airport. Um, we have sensitive cargo airport to airport. But I, what I really like are these types. Tourist asked to see. Leather term. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Much alone that. <laughs> but yeah, for, for some magical uh, way... Neofly is able to get the waypoints or the actual landmarks in the world and it is able to tag those as tourist destinations. So you actually go from the airport where you're at, which in our case is Lima Oscar Lima uniform, to a specific landmark or specific real location and you'll stop there so that the tourist can take a couple of photos and then you'll go back, something along those lines. Or it can be like a different mission, an emergency. You're, so you're basically starting from the airport and going to a random drop zone anywhere in the world. Dropping off the medic and then going back to an airport. Something along those lines, yeah. But let's start simple. Uh, let's see. Let's get this one. So you see that in the map here. We're somewhere in Austria still. I'm still enjoying the Austria 10 meter dem. And we recently got an update for it, so it doesn't have conflicts with the Lowy, the other payware airports anymore. So he excluded those areas. So in the previous video where you saw that the buildings, the vehicles were sinking into the ground in Innsbruck, that shouldn't be happening anymore. So win-win. Alright, so here we are. Connect and fly. Stay under a thousand feet and turn around the POI within less than 0.5 nautical miles. Okay, so we have missing payload. That's why it's not continuing yet. We have to match it. Current payload is 170. The U is 354. So we have to add 184 to this thing. And then it should it will start supposedly. Alright, so let me see. 184. Transporter from dispatch. Some tourists want to see how beautiful our region is from up above. There we go. So that's being detected now. Waiting for engine start. All right. So I won't go through the details right now of how to set up Neofly. I think we have plenty of other tutorials about that in the net. So if you want, you can search YouTube for Neofly tutorial. That will teach you how to set it up. Because as I mentioned, it's not the most user-friendly. You'll need to wait a bit. You need to wade through a few uh, setup issues. But eventually you'll get it. And uh, you can enjoy it afterwards. But yeah, there's a bit of learning curve setting everything up. I do like those sound effects. Loading, boarding. Actually, someone speaking with you. And that everything is randomized. Mission generated. Not the best weather for photo taking today. Overcast skies, but 
customer wants it, so let's, let's go and give it to them. All tourists on board. Let's take some photos. Awesome. All right. You can see the winds are pretty strong today coming from our right. That should be around 15 to 20 knots coming from our right, which is coming from the west here. So we should be able to probably... That's the runway already. Looks clear from here. All right. Let's see. So we should be taking off to the right into the wind okay I'm just verifying you fly is okay yes waiting for takeoff good let me move that here so I have another view <clears throat> all right it's a very short distance only 14 miles I think so that shouldn't be that challenging what's going to be challenging are the winds slow it down have a nice flight yeah the winds are definitely blowing me around already oof, 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 oof. get our stealth stable here definitely a different feeling oh, what the heck happened to that runway thankfully we're a helicopter <laughs> that might be a casualty of the 10 meter dem not sure <laughs> yikes yeah, thankfully we're a helicopter otherwise we would get in trouble there. Let's pick up some speed here. 50 knots, 50 miles per hour. And then climb. Get some altitude in. Not too steep. Alright, that looks good. Should be able to start our turn here. Going to the northeast. So let's tour the place a bit. Yeah, I've been really enjoying Neofly and its random missions. I, as you guys might know, I've been a huge fan of On Air, of uh, Sky Park. Uh, I've tried the uh, FS Economy as well. Tried different economy apps, but so far, in their current states, um, nothing really comes close to Neofly when it comes to helicopter missions. Because in a normal fixed-wing plane, normally you'd just be having missions that go from airport to airport but with helicopters you have that additional uh, complexity right that additional layer of uh, of fun where you can start on an airport but actually literally go anywhere and uh, that's something that most of the apps don't support yet <clears throat> Many apps don't support the short distances either, so they're more built for airliners, for smaller planes, but not as small as this, not for helicopters with really short distances. So oftentimes, for example, in Sky Park, as fun as it is, as, as, as nice as the interface is in flying this <clears throat> Bell 47, sorry. I have to like, even the shortest mission takes me like more than an hour of flying. And with more than an hour of flying, uh, no autopilot, no trim, yeah, it can get quite tiring. So I think distances like these, 14, 10 to 20 nautical miles is the perfect, uh, perfect balance in things. Now, you might notice there are stutters from time to time. There are more stutters. I think that's a side effect of the 10 meter dem. That mod that I'm trying out, Austria 10 meter dem. Um, it seems to cause stutters depending on the area. And it seems to cause stutters specifically in this region near Salzburg, northeast of Salzburg. I guess because of a lot of mountains, lots of meshes, you know, lots of curves being rendered in. And uh, it's causing that stutter to happen. Maybe Microsoft Flight Sim is not so optimized yet for such high quality uh, meshes and whatnot. But we'll, we'll, we'll observe it and we'll see how it goes. Oh my goodness, the winds are so strong. I can actually feel it blowing me off to the right. You can see even if we're banking to the left here, we're still being blown to the right because the winds are coming from the west. Very nice wind effect. So yeah. Even though the Bell 47 has a custom flight model and everything, 
part of that flight model is proper interaction with the wind, especially with the latest update of this helicopter. <clears throat> also, it's uh, pretty cheap in terms of buying this helicopter in Neofly. It's actually even cheaper than the starting plane. So in, in Neofly, you can start a profile, a start a career with the Cessna 172, Cessna 152, or the 172 with the G1000 panel. So what I did is I started a new profile with the Cessna 172 G1000 and then I took a loan just so I can buy this helicopter and then I sold the 172, the starting plane and was able to uh, pay off the entirety of the loans already in one go <laughs> even without doing any jobs yet so all good, all good winner Is that a plane? Oh yeah, I think it is. Cool. So I turned on the AI planes again. I had live traffic before. But live traffic doesn't seem to be either not too accurate or with the current situation in the world. It's not really that a lot of planes are flying, right? And I wanted more traffic in. So I started trying out the AI traffic option again. Which previously was causing me a lot of crashes crash to the desktops so far it's been going pretty good though not sure if that's the culprit for the stutter I highly I doubt it could be but probably not but yeah so far I haven't had a crash because of it crashing the helicopter yes but crashing the desktop no so we'll see how that works anyway just cannot uh, shake myself off from this helicopter and how amazing it feels it flies and i want to guys to take you guys with me every step of the way if you want to see more neofly missions let me know you can make more videos on them the emergency services are pretty fun in particular because they can happen anywhere like in the middle of the field right in the forest or whatnot because emergencies can happen anywhere right and what's cool is you can actually download like specific asset files so that the emergency services actually have a representation inside the sim. It's not that you're just imagining, oh, okay, for example, in this spot right here, there's an emergency. No, it's actually um, placing assets in there like uh, an ambulance a flipped over plane a crashed plane you know things like that so it has some custom assets to really portray that there's an emergency and you have some people waiting for you in there it makes everything look so much more real for this one and for the tourist mission that we're doing i don't think there is such a an extra asset i don't think there is an extra asset needed because the landmark itself is the asset but uh, yeah for the emergency services there is there are other kinds of missions as well. I haven't really unlocked all of them because there's a ranking mission, and uh, with the ranking, uh, the ranking system, where well, you level up, and as you level up, you unlock more types of missions. I think there's like a VIP mission, uh, a shady mission where you have to stay below a thousand feet, you know, things like that. Other kinds of uh, twists and turns. But yeah, in particular, if you're flying a helicopter or even a small GA plane, a bush, uh, a tail dragger maybe, you fly is perfect for the shorter distances. I like how it has all those categories. It even has an option to reset. By default, it's locked, but you have an option to allow it. You can reset the missions. Like if you see that there are no missions that you like, can actually reset the list and it will generate all those missions again for you until you find something that you like it's perfect i've actually been trying to find uh, a thing like this for quite some time the uh, tourist mission but it's been so hard to find thankfully in this area i think it depends on the area where you're at <clears throat> oh look at this highway guys look at this junction oh beautiful no mountains today, but 
definitely lots of uh, autobahn in beautiful oh my goodness look how busy that is the crab we're having here huh crabbing to the left because of the winds looks like that plane from a distance also managed to land already shiny as shiny can be also i realize we might be veering a bit off course here might have to turn left here a bit move away from the highway because uh, yeah not really going towards that destination anymore might have enjoyed tracking the autobahn a bit too much but yes if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos let me know i'd be happy to make more if you have suggestions on how to improve the format let me know if you want like shorter videos less talking just the highlights maybe two minute videos five minute videos let me know i won't be offended it will be great to know which ones you guys prefer or if you're okay with these kinds where i have commentaries and basically babble about while we're flying then let me know as well and uh we'll try to adjust as necessary now uh, recently i released a subnautica video i don't think it will fly i think it will sink <laughs> sorry <laughs> couldn't resist but yeah i'm um, based on the initial views i don't think it will be a staple in the channel it's a good try but uh, yeah, i don't think it will stick is it raining over there we have another aircraft there nice so that's what i like about ai planes in here <laughs> generates uh, ga planes airliners and whatnot from time to time so you don't feel so alone flying quite nice immersion cool so let's see where are we going again let me try and read it uh leather L leather turn leather turn probably reading that wrong but it's probably a city a specific area in the city if anyone knows what that means let me know okay Look, it's, it seems to be like a, a building or a at least an area a region in a city if i zoom in on the map that's in hmm, Vels. yeah that's in a city somewhere so what we'll try and do although the winds are terrible right now i think it's dialed down a bit though thankfully but we'll try to do a hover this is where having a helicopter is perfect right because if you have a fixed wing you have to fly over it repeatedly until the photographer is happy with his shots but with a helicopter you can basically hover in place do an out of ground effect hover and uh, rotate you know your as much as possible as much as he wants to get that perfect angle and then when he's happy then go back yeah i think tourist uh, tourist destinations our guy right here let's imagine he's there i think he'll enjoy this perfect view in front of him he can take lots of photos especially with this bubble cockpit bubble canopy kind of uh, design on this helicopter that and the amazing sounds i literally haven't flown any other aircraft since i've i started flying this something to learn every day and enjoying every bit of it oh yeah that looks like a city all right in front of us building starting to come up actually didn't notice it until it's in front of me very nice no pop-ins no nothing just getting closer and closer to the city now as we get closer to our destination we should get notified and then we'll know when we need to stop and things like that but with the way the winds are blowing from the west i think it's better if we face the west when we do this so let me probably try and loop around here a bit so that by the time we're ready to hover 
we are facing the west. There's the city. Wow, it's a very big city, huh? You are less than two nautical from the POI. Stay under 1,000 feet. Okay. We are under 1,000 feet for sure. Probably even less than 500 feet above ground. Very nice, very busy city. Anyone know what city this is? Uh, what did I say about it? Bells? Yes, with a W. Alright, so this is where it should be. Somewhere here. So we can try and hover around this area. Maybe we can try and get lower as well. Somewhere here. Good. Man, that is an amazing view, isn't it? With that river. Is this still the river in? Probably not. But yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if it was. So where is our... Turn around interest. the POI as close as possible until they are done taking pictures. Alright, there you go. So basically we stay here and we hover. It's hear them clicking on the shutter. So let's try to hover here, guys. Probably taking a photo of the city, huh? Slow it down. There we go. Man, that's a beautiful sight. It's a good practice for the hovering as well. Oh no, it started to rain. Hopefully the weather doesn't turn too bad. Transporter form dispatch. Enough pictures for today. Good job. You can come back. Awesome. Alright. So it looks like they're happy. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the airport and I'll bring you guys back when we are almost there so we can get the rewards, okay? But uh, yeah, hang tight. I'll take some photos of my own here for the thumbnail and everything. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, welcome back. Getting closer to the airport, getting closer to the mountains. It's beautiful here, although the weather definitely is starting to turn thankfully it hasn't rained here yet but the winds are stronger here you can actually feel the winds coming from the west yeah coming from in front of us trying to push us away so we're crabbing here at the very weird angle but the airport should be in front of us soon enough anyway i was chatting with our tourist friend here and uh, he started showing me some of the pics that he was able to take of the Lederer Turm. It is apparently, let me show it to you, the pictures that he's taken. There you go. It's actually a very famous tower in Wells. You managed to see that in the video, in the, the uh, time when we were at the city a while ago. Let me know if you found that. You can rewind a bit and see if you can spot that exact tower where we were at. I have my doubts though because I, I don't think the sim will render that as is. I don't think that's... Uh, I think we have the city looking much like a city. But not really one is the one with the unique buildings. But then again, our photographer friend managed to take those photos so I'm happy enough with that. <laughs> Looks like he was able to take them at a much better weather than where we were at though. Let's take a look at that again. Yeah, look at that. The skies in his pictures look much better. How did he manage that? Magic. Goodness. Oh, there's the airport right there. Okay, good. The good thing about this is if we're facing into the wind as we land, it should be a bit easier. Although, I have my doubts about that still. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Let's try not to overspeed while we're at it. The stutters aren't too bad. Yesterday I was flying here around this area and the stutters were really messed up. 
to the point that they were breaking immersion already. I try not to look at my frames and just try and enjoy the scenery, but when stuttering gets that bad, even I notice. But uh, let's see. At least today in the video it wasn't that intense and we could uh, it's hard to notice at least okay let's slow it down start descending slowly i think we can afford to actually descend a little bit later how things are yeah that's something that they haven't quite gotten yet the, the descent rate of the helicopter especially without any kind of guidance no PFD, no artificial horizon or anything, just looking outside visually. Basically eyeballing everything. I haven't been able to really get a handle on how fast a helicopter can descend. Mostly I still have that fixed wing mentality of how a runway should look like when you're doing an approach. Like if you're in a fixed wing with this kind of steep angle, I don't think that will be very healthy. But with the helicopter, it's perfectly fine. Actually, I think it's not steep enough. <laughs> Listen how that looks. But uh, we can manage. We'll manage to do this. And we'll try and face exactly along the runway heading. A D crab there. And we'll see how the wind reacts. I'm looking at little nav map here. Winds are coming directly from the west. 2-6. 275 degrees at 22 knots. Oh my goodness, 22 knots. <clears throat> Thankfully, it's right in front of us, so it shouldn't be that intense. But yeah, just keep it a steady descent here. And as we slow down, when we get slower than 30 knots, we should be able to increase the collective again. And, uh, Make sure that we're not sinking any further. Alright, the king, quite nice. Not too bad, I'll take it. Increase the collective, left pedal. Let's taxi our way to the ramp right there. Should be quite fast here. Start slowing it down. Might be a bit too high. Ah, that's okay. I'll manage. Look at how windsock is just flying straight through. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's try to park it there, right in the middle of that ramp. Steady. We want to get paid here. We want to crash our helicopter. I think if you crash it, Neofly will actually detect it and you'll have to repair it or something. Not sure how it works. But I think it's a little bit more strict there. More stakes. Okay, that looks good. Let's just set it down here. Come on. Just steady. Steady. There you go. You can disembark the tourists. Nice. Have a look. What happened? VS minus ninety-seven. Transporter disembarking complete. I will Not call too you bad. when I have more tourists for you. Thank you. Bonus comfort plus five percent. Bonus landing plus ten percent. Nice. And we got some fuel consumption in there as well. Eighty-six pounds of fuel, and we got paid. So if you look at our fi finances, we got paid four thousand for those tourists. Not too shabby. Airport fees 123. Fuel for that was 105. I'll take it. Nice. So yes, if you want more videos, let me know. And I'll probably do one more eventually with the emergency services this time. A bit of a different vibe. A bit more less scenic, less touristy, more serious. But should be fun seeing those, uh, getting to those emergency zones, hotspots. But uh, yes, hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. Let's see how that works. Oh, it already ended. Alright, anyway, thank you for watching. Clumsy flying guys and catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.